So we really wanted to, uh, to bring our artworks close to, to the people. Um, and therefore the, we developed this sub-brand, you can say, Rijk Studio. And it has several uh, layers in it. We made available uh, more than 125,000 uh, artworks in high resolution. Uh, it's 2,500 pixels by 2,500 pic pixels. So you can really do something with it. You can download it for free. Um, but also you can, in our website, you can uh, really zoom in uh, nicely on, on those artworks. They are um, presented full screen on, on every device and information is, is hidden. So you have to click on a little button and then you get information. So it's very nice aesthetic visual experience. Um, you can also do in Rack Studio, uh, you can collect artworks and make beautiful uh, collections with all of its uh, de de details. Something you can't do on Pinterest, you can do on our website. You can uh, collect uh, beautiful details, for example, of uh, butterflies or whatever interest you have. Um, and you can also, another way of bringing the collection close to the people is that you can take a detail of all those uh, works and um, order it as a canvas or a poster or, um, or uh, yeah, all kind of stuff. And you can uh, hang it in your house so it's really you, can, you can't go closer than that so I really also want people uh, to share it on Facebook uh, make make things of it um, and um, because we want to have the, the, the collection spread everywhere because our own website or apps are just they, they have a smaller reach than, than the whole internet and Facebook so we want to spread the whole collection everywhere so, um, and we, we wanted people to download those, those artworks, but we want to also get, uh, get them creative with it, uh, make, make new things, because we think that if, if you uh, are doing stuff with our artworks, you also look at them very well. So that, that's uh, also an educational um, uh, target. So, well, so Rijk Studio is not a set of functionalities, but it's more like a sub-brand. Um, to be honest, when we uh, before the launch, we were a little bit afraid. But would people understand Rijk Studio? Because it's yeah, it's a little bit abstract concept. But from, from the first minute, uh, people started to use it. They understand it, and yeah, it's really great. So it exceeded our expectations also in that uh, in that way. So. Um, and what also is new that we uh, we focus on a new target group. So um, we had the traditional target groups, the, uh, uh, the art lover and the art professional. Uh, and now there's a new target group, we call it the culture snacker. We have in the museum the, the culture tourist. So people go to Amsterdam for one day or weekend and then they go to a museum, it's a culture tourist. But online and um, people are these days, we think, culture snackers. They, they, take pictures, put them online, share them with, with friends. And um, yeah, and, and we think we are all culture snackers in a way today. So that's a real interesting new target group. And it was also an opportunity for us to uh, reach a, a much larger audience than only art professionals and, and art, uh, art lovers. So um, yeah, that's what we did and, and it, it, it succeeded in a way. So we are very happy. <laughs>